No one's probably going to watch these, but I decided to make studio vlogs. I made one in 2019, which was just kind of like a mishmash of videos. Um, no talking in that one. So this is like really out of my comfort zone. I hate it, but I'm going to do it. So much has changed since then, like both in my art and my personal life like as you can see in the little two-year flashback but yeah i'm a bit sad that like i didn't document the past two years like my art journey has been like a lot has changed pretty much like if you've seen my old youtube videos it's pretty much like time lapses of traditional art like i i would draw a lot of pet portraits a lot of people portraits now i'm doing a lot more um digital stuff and yeah like i found that I love using a lot of color and yeah kind of sad that I didn't document that journey I guess and so yeah I think now's the time to vlog. Sydney's in lockdown right now so we've been in lockdown for like the past two weeks and I feel like it's gonna drag on for a while so I thought oh might as well use this time to make some videos I guess and show you what I've been up to. These vlogs are like mainly for myself like just to look back on um, in the future see how much I've changed and grown especially my art journey I guess and so I guess if anyone even watches these it'll be a nice little bonus so hope you enjoy. You may think that I know too much but now it's never too much because I'm Let me just show you what I've been working on lately. I've been doing like a short series on Spain. So I did this one the other week that I finished and posted on my Instagram. I love the colors that I used for this one. Um, I haven't actually been to Spain, so all of this is kind of just like through exploring on Google Maps and stuff. And I'm um, also, this is the second one that I've been doing that you saw me working on yesterday. Um, I don't really know if I'll make this into a postcard set. I think it depends if I make a third one to go with it because I think this one and the other one are quite different and they don't really, they don't really make a set. Like this one might be good to just sell on its own maybe. I don't know. I'll still, I'll have a think about it, but yeah. 
No, it's never too much Because when push comes to shove Girl, just trust I won't get sick of us Hi, it's Saturday and I'm really bad at vlogging throughout the week um, I mean, there's not much to vlog, like, all I do is draw, sleep, eat, repeat, so, yeah, and we're beginning week five of Sydney's lockdown, so, I mean, I'm not even leaving the house much, we go, like, for a walk every day, but that's about it. Today's a super nice day, so we're probably gonna go for a walk, I'm just waiting for Mahi to get ready, and then we're gonna go for a long walk. I guess I will show all the stuff I've been working on this week. I actually ordered like a whole bunch of postcard sets from Moo again because um, they had a sale so I thought oh perfect time to restock my shop. Um, I restocked my Japan postcard set. That one's the one that's been like the most popular and I've got a whole bunch of new sets coming out. I've also got to order my sticker sheets. I haven't gotten around to that yet, but I'm just I'm just procrastinating. Um, but I should do that. And yeah. So I finally finished this one that I've been working on for weeks actually. It's like it took me ages because like there's a lot of like little um oops little details and stuff that just take a long time and like I get tired of it so I go back and forth between this one and like other pieces so that one yeah this one's done um what else did i do this week i also finished um i did a still life drawing just for fun um there's this instagram page that uploads still life reference photos um i think every two weeks or is it every month something like that and um i join every once in a while because it's just a good kind of exercise to um, have fun with. Um, so I played around a lot with like textures and stuff for this one, pencil textures. And yeah, this was a lot of fun. And I also did this piece, which uh, this one. for some reason just felt like drawing a lot of flowers and originally I had them I didn't have the faces on them so they actually whoops actually just looked like this but then I was like oh I can I should add something like a bit more fun to it so I added like little faces this one's my favorite yeah <laughs> oh actually yeah I think that one's my favorite like the sleeping one as well. That one's cute. Anyway, yeah, this was a lot of fun as well. Um, what else have I done? Oh, I've done some stuff in my sketchbook. I'll go get that. So I've been really into sketchbooking this year. I don't usually like do anything in my sketchbook. Like I bought the sketchbook back in 2018 and I did like one piece in it and then, oh, actually I think I did two. I did this one as well. And then after that, I didn't touch it for like until the beginning of this year just because like I I don't know I never really got into it much but this year like I've found that it's like really fun to just kind of experiment um in it so I did this this week this one as well these are with like gouache and colored pencils um these are just colored pencils that I did a while ago as well so yeah, hopefully I can finish a sketchbook, like this whole sketchbook this year. And maybe I can do like a sketchbook tour. That'd be really cute. But yeah, still got a lot to go. Um, but yeah, if I just do like one spread a week, I think that's probably enough for me. 